In Creo Parametric, the sheet metal rip connect command does exactly what it says it does. It connects two rips together. Let's take a look at how to use that. Here I have a sheet metal part. It is just an octagon that has been extruded and it has a bunch of vents automatically placed on the edges. If I go to the flat pattern preview, I get an error. It's not able to be flattened because it is not developable. So let's start off by throwing in a couple of edge rips. I'm going to throw in an edge rip on this edge over here. I'm going to drag it so that it is located off from the edge on the other side. Let me hit the check mark in order to create it. And you can see it highlighted in here, but as soon as I click off of it, you are not going to see it. Let's create another one on the other side. I will select this edge over here and let's drag this one off. I'll use the same value to offset it. And then I will hit the check mark. So again, I still have my I have my two edge rips in here. It is still not capable of being developed. So let's connect those two rips. And to make this a little easier on myself, I'm going to switch to a hidden line mode. It'll be a little bit slightly easier for me to see where the rips are in the model. Let's go to the rip overflow menu and choose rip connect. Here is the dashboard. From the placement tab, you can create multiple sets. And for the references for the sets, you can select either vertices or datum points. I don't have any datum points in my model, so I'm going to select vertices. Let's select this vertex over here. And on the other side, I'll hold down the control key and grab this vertex over there. You can see a preview of the new surface that is going to be created. When you make these different rip connects, you can also create gaps in the model. And if I choose to create a gap, you have a drop down list with some default values such as zero or the thickness or two times the thickness, half the thickness, or you can just plug in whatever numerical value that you want. Let me use a value, I'll do 0.25, just make a nice big one. And let me change back to shading with edges. Let's hit the check mark in the dashboard and the features created. Let me click on the zoom all button and this time you can see that we are indeed able to get a flat pattern preview here in the model. And let's see what happens when we make some changes to some of the dimensional values. I'll go to edge rip one, let's use the edit command and I'm going to change this to 1.5 you can see how the rip updates automatically both in the graphics area and the flat pattern preview window let's do the same thing to this one let's change it to a value of 1.5 and again both of them update that's good let me click on the screen so that it regenerates and updates so again sheet metal rip connect command allows you to connect the vertices of two rips I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.